Hi guys, 14th Prime here, back with another custom review. And today we're looking at a custom pre-Earth Cheetor. Now, this custom is obviously based on the Robots in Disguise 2015 Bumblebee, which, I guess for comparison for those of you that don't know, oop, don't know how he originally looked, there's a photo for the three people that didn't know. So anyways, quickly get this out of the way. The paints I used for all the metallic blue I used... I use metallic blue, as you do. With the tiny hints of green. I use part green. Oop, part green. Come on, come on. Here we go. The gold I used. Gold leaf. Focus. Thank you. There's some. I painted the windshield silver, and for that I used flat aluminum. Oop. And for all the little black spots well it's, it's black I don't, I don't know what else to say about that <laughs> anyways here it is a little bit close on details you can see painted a good bit of the rubber mode oh yeah and then that if I remember correctly is metallic gray so I completely forgot that I put small hints of it on this figure but yeah actually how I did the head here is that I took I took an old credit card, and I think this is part of it. If you guys remember my, um, oop, <laughs> it's gone now. If you guys remember my Siege Scattershot review, it was the same card. It's actually what gave me the idea to do his visor like that. But anyways, I just kind of took it. I took the ends. I clipped off one end, then I lined it up with another end and clipped it off. And I put it there as the ears, since I was not going to be able to find a head to fit this. And it worked. And it actually can still transform. I'm not really going to show the alt mode since honestly all I changed on it was the headlights and then this windshield is silver. But it looks a bit more blue. Just filled in blue I guess. Because I really didn't do that much to the alt mode. It's not important really doing it. How I actually did these black spots is... Let me focus. Focus. They actually kind of made them look like low res textures in a way. A little bit messy here and there but it actually turned out better than I thought it would. Anyways, what I, how I did those is that I just kind of took the black paint, I rubbed off excess, and I just kind of boop, 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 just randomly on the arms and chest to kind of emulate it like the Dawn of Future, I think it's like Dawn of Future Past set, to kind of try to emulate it like that. I think it worked pretty well. Anyways, coming down to the legs, got the gold in the vents, metallic blue going up, gold there, and the back again, there's really, really nothing going on there. I could have painted the tail. I probably should have painted the tail lights. But nah, I don't really transform much, mostly because, again, he still can. Like there's, there's space for the ears to fit back there, but it's just, just really delicate. The head itself is just kind of delicate because of the ears. So I don't really, I don't really mess with it much. And the maximal symbol, repro labels, of course. So I guess the question now is. Am I doing more of them? Am I doing the whole team? I don't know. I did this one a while back. If anyone is a Facebook or Tumblr follower, you'll remember this from probably like a month or two ago. <laughs> probably longer. So I do have plans for the rest of them. Like I, I did write down, like, if I did do them, this is the mold I would use. So maybe, but don't count on it. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this guy. So please be sure to check out my channel for more custom reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Facebook and Tumblr pages. Link in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime. Signing out.